I used to sit around in limbo for months and not create any content or take any action on my business. And it wasn't like I was receiving intuitive pulses and then... I used to sit around in limbo for months and not create any content or take any action on my business. And it wasn't like I was receiving intuitive pulses and then and downloads and not taking action. I just was sort of like numbed out to the process and I was just in limbo. But I was also feeling this underlying frustration with myself like, what? the fuck? Why am I not taking action? Where am I playing small? Why am I sabotaging myself? But I wasn't feeling lit up to take action. And I know that intuitive, intuitively, like I don't need to take action unless it is something that lights me up. You know, I've been there, done that, where I used to take action for the sake of taking action. And it used to make me a lot of money, but it used to also burn me out and overwhelm me. And so I refused to use my masculine energy in that way anymore. My masculine energy is gonna take action on things that are aligned. And so if you find yourself in limbo, where you're questioning, am I following my intuition and going with the flow or am I completely sabotaging myself and playing small and trying to avoid fear? I would say if you're in this state of limbo and you're not feeling the impulse to move, then there's a piece of your business that's out of alignment. And there is a fear that's hidden in there, but it's not what you think. It's not like a fear of failure necessarily. I mean, that is obviously a fear as well, but that's not what really comes up in this scenario. What comes up in this scenario is this fear of overwhelm and planning. And so I saw someone post a comment in one of the groups that I'm in the other day exactly about this, where she was confused on whether or not she was playing small and sabotaging herself or following her intuition and just going with the flow because she just really hasn't felt the urge to take action in her soul aligned business and, or in her business. And so I messaged her back and I said, you know, it could be sabotage, but it's also likely that a piece of your business is out of alignment because your soul is not going to energetically be able to show up the same way for something if it does not feel in alignment. You're not going to be able to back your energy behind it and you're not going to be able to have the same enthusiasm and momentum. And so she reflected on that and she got back to me and she said, you know, you're right. She's like, I've been planning this online program and it's this fear of planning that has been keeping me stuck, feeling like I have to plan everything out in advance. And um, and so that's been keeping her stuck. So she decided she was going to, after reflecting, that she was going to go with a more intuitive um, uh, in the moment building out of her program. And so I just wanted to address this because I've been in that place and it has stalled me out for months and I get it. And you're sort of like frustrated with yourself because especially if you're already pretty aware and pretty spiritually inclined, like you're used to self-reflection and you're used to questioning self. And so your mind feels like it's almost playing tricks on you. You're like, am I sabotaging myself? Or am I just like going with the flow, following my intuition? What's up? Because I, you know, at that point, I did not feel moved to move, right? To make a move. And so this fear of planning everything out is totally um, justifiable and it holds so many people up in building their business. So many spiritual teachers, healers, and entrepreneurs, they get stuck in the details. And this was me when I first started my first program, I paid some of the best coaches and well-named coaches in the industry. And I planned everything out in advance. And what it did was it left a lot of room for procrastination and sabotage and self-doubt to creep in. And um, at the end of the day, my sales fell flat um, and I was overwhelmed and burned out. And so this is something that 
does not have to happen in your business. So if you're looking to grow an online business, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to have everything figured out. You don't have to have everything planned out. You actually don't even have to create any content for your program in advance before you can go straight to sales. So you can start interacting with your soulmate clients and you start to get feedback from them and you can grow your business intuitively and in a very fluid way that allows for the divine guidance that's coming through you to be integrated, right? So this is the most soul aligned way to build a business. So this is really good news for the light worker teacher and healer that gets so many downloads and you're, you know, you're already an intuitive channel. Like this gives you the ability to play in your business. This gives you the ability to play with the creation process, to co-create with the divine, not have to plan everything out in advance and be so restrictive and so constricted. And this is what I teach inside Sacred Leader Academy. And you and I teach how to go directly to sales without uh, and go to market and, and start to create sales in your business so you can build that momentum and that enthusiasm and revenue for your company as well as interacting with your soulmate clients because then you're able to even learn as you go from them and there's a way to build it out to keep your business like completely in soul alignment like that and so i just wanted to stress this if you are being bogged down in the details um and you're watching a million webinars maybe and you're trying to plan things and you're you know um, getting frustrated, and overwhelmed, wondering why you don't have that spark, why you aren't taking action in your business. There's a likely a piece of this that is not in alignment. And I see this happen a lot. Um, so in order to move into a more aligned place and allow this to intuitively unfold for you, you have to be willing to release the control issues and it, your ego is gonna have to release some of the control and turn it over to spirit and trust that you're being led and allow the divine guidance to, to come through and build your program out in a more intuitive, fluid way. Um, it'll feel lighter, it won't feel heavy. Your soul program should not feel heavy, it should not feel like a burden, it should not feel like effort, it should not feel like work, it should not feel like overwhelm, it should not feel like burnout, it should not feel, you know, like a sacrifice when you're building it out. It should be fun, it should be momentum, it should be light, it should be enthusiasm and that's what building a soul aligned business is going to feel like. And you do not have to build out one piece of content in advance in order to start making sales in your business. And think about how much momentum and enthusiasm that would generate for you when you are making sales in your business, doing what you love and creating from that place. That's a totally different vibe and a totally different momentum than putting your head down and your blinders on and just cranking out like all this content for weeks or months or months and then hoping at the end of the day someone pays you for it. This other way that I'm suggesting allows you to tweak and go with the flow as you build it out. So it is a magnetic match to your soulmate clients all the way through from start to finish. And I just want you to think about how amazing would that be if you were just able to allow your creative, you know, inspirations to flow to you and take action on those without the overwhelm and the burnout and the, and the fear of planning everything out and getting bogged down in the details and all of that kind of stuff, which a lot of coaches teach. A lot of big coaches in the industry that have been doing this a lot longer than me, that's what they teach. But you know what? I see my clients included not get results with those coaches, but get results with this strategy alone. And why is that? Because you, you are working a co-creative process with the divine, acting on divine inspiration, allowing that to flow. And you're not strangling your inspiration and your divine guidance with constriction and rigidity and you know putting everything in a box and trying to figure everything out in advance this is so analytical mind you know at play here not the intuitive side of you and you cannot go wrong when you're creating 
with the divine. When you're allowing divine inspiration to flow to you and you're giving yourself that room and that, you know, that flexibility to, to truly go with the flow. This is truly going with the flow and following your intuition. And so if you're stuck in this limbo place, you're not necessarily sabotaging. It's just your soul digging in your heels saying, this ain't the path. You know, like this ain't it, you know, like there's an easier way. 